Hello and welcome to another episode of my Working With Todoist series. My name is Carl Pauline and this week I want to show you a few ways that you can use in order to tame an overwhelming daily to-do list. And this is something I see with a lot of my coaching clients where they have 20, 30, 40 tasks all lined up one underneath each other every single day. Now when you start the day looking at a list like that, you are just going to go, Ugh. you know, it's a horrible, horrible way to start the day. And Todoist gives us a lot of tools to help us to reduce that overwhelm and to organize that list into different categories or segments or whatever you want to call it. And I want to show you a few of them today because I think this will instantly change your relationship with your daily to-do list. It's going to make it much more inspiring and much more motivating to get started and get your work done. Now, before we go any further, if you do get any value from this video, please help me by clicking on that like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you want to get all the latest tips, tricks, and news on using Todoist, then please subscribe to my channel. Okay, let me take you into my demo account now and I'll show you quite a few ways of taming that overwhelming list. Okay, so how many of you begin your day looking at a Todoist that looks something like this, with tasks that just roll off the screen? And, you know, I know from my own personal experience that when you begin your day with a task list that looks something like this, you are not going to use it effectively. You're just not going to want to go in there. This is something that you're going to look at first thing in the morning and just go, Ugh. So what I want to do in this video is to show you a few ways that you can get this to look a lot better. First up, one of the problems I see with many, many Todoist uh, users is they've got too much stuff lying around in communications and following up. Now, I have written about this before, but if you're using a follow-up or you're using an at waiting for label, then all you're doing is shuffling paper around. It's a proverbial shuffling paper around because if you're waiting for something, that means you've got an incomplete task. The task was never completed when you started the task. Just changing it to a waiting for task is not doing anything. What really means is the task is not complete. So really all you need to do is just reschedule the task. When it comes back, you can then check up on the person who you're waiting for and say, have you done the task now? In which case, then you can check it off. But this is just my rant for the week, if you like. So let's get into this. First of all, I'm going to give you a, a quick tip that I would use, and I do give this to all my coaching clients, is with your communications, because a lot of people have things that they've got to email, they've got to follow up, they've got a phone call, they've got a message. You want to get all these into a one simple place. So you would go through this list like here. And what I'm going to do is I've got here chase. That's a communication. So I'm going to uh, on a Mac. It's actually command click. I think on a, on Windows, it's option click. I'm just going to go down here and I've got one to follow up Jeff uh, chase. So that's another one. Follow up there. I've got another follow up and email Jenny. That's another one. I'm going to remind Jessica. OK, I've got to do that one. I'm going to call my mom and dad. That's uh, so th so these are all what I would describe as communication tasks. What I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly add a label, communications. I've only got that one label. I'm going to check that, hit return, and all being well, that has now added the label, which it hasn't. So I'm just going to go back in there, communications, return, no, nope, communications, and then I'm going to hit tab. And that should do it, I hope. Okay, let's just click on that. There we go. It's done. So now I've got my communications. So what you'll see is I can now separate that. 
I'm just going to here and it's going to give me all my communications. Now, anything related to communications is going to come up in the label. So you want to be able to filter this down still further. Now, filters you can now use in the free version. I've got one here called today's communication. This isn't going to change the list of what you see. But what I'll do is let's just go into my today here. I'm going to make uh, update sales. We're just going to add the label. Um, uh, the the label communication. So I'm just going to go into here, click on communications, and that's done. So that's now added the communications. I'm going to change the date now to tomorrow on this one, and that's done. So when I go into my label, you will see that I've got tomorrow's ta communications there, which is why you want to be filtering these down still further. So I'm going to go back to my today's communications, and it removes that. Now, if your job is one of those jobs where you've got a lot of communications to deal with every day, then what I would suggest you do is click the three dots at the side of today's communications in the filter and add that to favorites. So that's now up there. Today's communications is right there. So let's go back to today. And we've got in here uh, quite a few other things that I want to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and look for my most important tasks for the day. So I'm just going to say this one's important. So again, I'm going to on a Mac X command click, option click on Windows. I'm going to record podcasts. Yes, those two things have to be done today. Those are what I'm going to call my priority tasks for today. So I'm going to click on priority and I'm going to make that P1. What you'll see is they've gone to the top now already. Now I'm looking for tasks that I want to do in the morning. So I need to check that, check in the shopping list yet yeah, because I'm going to go shopping in the afternoon. Sorry, I need to, let's just click out of that. There we go. I'm going to shift click on that. Sorry, command click on check shopping list because I need to do that in the morning. I'm going to go down my list and I'm going to say, oh, uh, I need to, let's have a look, let's have a look, let's have a look. Oh, I'm going to exercise in the morning. I'm going to go down here, complete my weekly planning session, send money to savings. I'm going to do that in the afternoon. I'm going to record the YouTube videos this morning. So there we go. Those are my tasks for the morning. So I'm going to give that P2. P2 for me means my morning tasks. I'm not going to go further down and say, right, I need to do my daily planning. I'm going to do that this afternoon. I'm going to go down here, clean up today's admin. I'm going to do that this afternoon, review my current projects list, uh, business development. I'm going to schedule for tomorrow. And I'm just looking down here. Uh, I'm going to do that this afternoon. And oh, I'll save, send money. <clears throat> I'll send money to my savings this afternoon and I'm going to complete my weekly planning session. That's going to be this afternoon. So I'm going to hit my priority two and that's going to be priority three. So that's essentially way I'm going to start cleaning this up. Now this still is not looking like a tidy list. This still looks overwhelming. The only thing I've done is I've changed some colors and I didn't actually add, where's my morning task? I saw my, let's just add the morning task. So this needs doing, so I can go to the three dots by the way and I can just click the orange there. So that's done that one. And let's have a look. Uh, yeah, I'm, I um, complete weekly planning session. Yeah, let's do that this morning as well, just to give you an idea of what this looks like. And just go check down here. I've been doing that in the morning. I'll do this one in the morning. And uh, yeah, I need to do that one in the morning. So I should have clicked that. There we go. Right, so I've got a few tasks. So this still, though, looks very overwhelming to me. The list is just endless. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into my sort function right here. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to sort by priority. But that only is, that's what it's doing right now. It's sorting by priority. So what I've done is I haven't really changed anything. So I'm going to click out of that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my sort for, to custom sort. And what I'm going to do is group by priority. So go down to there, group by priority, and I'm just going to click sort. Now this list is beginning to look more attractive to me. I've got my objectives for the day. This must be done today. I'm then going to put my morning tasks are right there, and then my afternoon tasks, and finally the tasks that I will do in the evening if I have time. Now, for those of you who followed me for a while, you know I do the two plus eight, two objective tasks, which are my priority one, 
and eight others. So what I've got here is I've now got too many. I've got four here and I've got six here. I need to lose two. Well, I can send money to my savings account at any time. So I can do that this evening. So I'll just drop that one out. Um, I'm going to look at this, do my daily planning. Well, I'm going to do that again. I'm going to do that this evening. That's no problem. So that's out. So I've still got one here. So what am I going to do? What will I look at here? I'm thinking that's not really going to happen today. So I'm going to reschedule that for tomorrow. So I can just click here. Uh, it's going to next week. It's going to go, where are we going? Uh, I can just click on the three dots there and I can just hit tomorrow right there. So that's how I would generally go through and organize my day. I've got my two plus eight now organized right there. The, the whole thing looks much tidier. But here's the little key. I've got my favorites here. I've got today's focus, which is a, a filter. If I click on that, you'll see now that all the P4 tasks have disappeared. They've just gone. They haven't really. They're still in today and they're still organized by today like this. But I, those are the ones I'm not going to be too bothered about if I don't do. These are my 10 most important tasks. They are here. They are ready to go. And this is where I would start my day. So if you look at back to where we started with that horrendous list of tasks, 28 tasks, I think it was, 28, I think we're down to 20, 28 tasks, say, and now 26, that's still a lot of tasks to do in a day, but now I've prioritized my list. I've got it so that I know that whenever I'm in to do is these color tasks, these P1, P2, and P3, they must be done today. These down below are optional. I should go, sorry, go back into today. These are optional. If I get time, this is going to be great. But if not, it's not a big problem. As I say, you can also use labels or filters to create, to pull out your communication. So one of the things that I would do for my communications is you'll notice that none of these are flagged, but I might say, okay, between 5 and 6 p.m. tonight, I am going to do my communications. This is where I come. This is the only view I need to see for that hour because I've dedicated that hour for doing my communications. I don't need to see anything else. So this is another thing that you can do. So if I go back into my list here, let's say I am going to do writing in the morning. So what I can do is come down here. I can just look for my writing uh, exercises. And typically I've got none in here. <laughs> that was typical, isn't it? Uh, so I can look for any writing tasks in here. This, there's one anyway. I've got one. Have I got right to the blog post? Uh, no. But what I can do now is I can create a label. So I can type writing. Uh, I'm going to create writing and check the box. And that's it. It's done. So that's now got my writing. So again, when I go into labels, I can sort of say, OK, I'm now going to go into a block of writing time so I can click on that. I've only got to write my podcast today. Now, you can do this, by the way, for something else. You can actually do review. Um, so you can actually create labels for review. Uh, now, I'm going to stress now because people say, do you still use labels? I don't personally use labels. I have my own system. What I want to do is just to show you, though, that there are so many ways that you can actually help yourself to get these lists looking a lot easier. So I can do go down here like this would be a review. So I'm just going to go command click and go down to here. Review films, review update and go down here, review films. That comes up twice. But we're going to add the label here, uh, review, and that's done. So again, when I'm, if I have a block of time for the day for reviews, I can just click on that, and I can go in here and say, right, these are the things that I want to review. And by the way, I should point out that if you do have a label like this, you can go into Custom Short, and you can group by date, due date. So let's do that. I'm going to click that. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the date on this. I'm going to call this one for tomorrow. 
and I'm going to call this one for Sunday or the, uh, let's go here, Sunday. So you can see that I can actually create through the sorting a way of saying, well, I don't need to worry about these because those are for the weekend. I only need to worry about these today. So there's a lot that you can do within Todoist now to make your lists a lot less overwhelming. Hopefully this has given you a few ideas. They are great and if you go a little bit deeper into Todoist you can get lists so that they are much more effective for you. So it in, almost inspires you to get the work done rather than just looking at a long list of horrible like 28 tasks in one big list. That is just not inspiring. You're looking, what you want to be doing is looking for ways to make the list as inspiring as you possibly can. Hopefully that's helped. Hopefully that's given you some ideas. Thank you very much for watching this video. And it just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. Now, I would just like to say, if you are ready to decide what you want out of your life the next 10, 20, 30 years, and you want to be able to take that and build it into your daily life, then I have a course that's going to help you do exactly that. The Time and Life Mastery 2021 edition will take you through the process of deciding what you want for your life and then it will show you how to build that into your daily life using the time sector system. So I hope you join this course. It's an amazing course and I know you will not be disappointed and I would really like to see you there. I'm here to help you to develop the best life you possibly can through becoming better organized and more productive. And that is what this course will show you what to do. Please join me in that course. Full details are in the details below.